matter where you live on the map. I don't think any place is immune of this or not impacted. COVID-19 is impacting all of us. The month that it's been um, has been very trying at times. Kelsey Keeling with the Butler County Chamber of Commerce says David City hasn't slowed down as much as places like Omaha, but like bigger cities, there's concern for small businesses. General consensus I'm hearing from a lot of businesses is how long is this going to last and will we recover from this? Some places have closed their doors for now, while others have cut their hours. But for some, a large number of phone calls are painting a very different picture. We offer curbside pickup and also free delivery, um, and the phones just rang off the hook. Aaron Hadavi, store manager at Ace Hardware, now has shields at the counter and signs throughout the store, reminding people of social distancing. We don't have a lot of options and stuff, so to me, it's it's important that we um, stay open and try to protect people as you know as well as we can. Another place that's busy are local grocery stores. That demand has caused Brenda Linz, co-owner of Dale's Food Pride, to not only offer curbside pickup of groceries, but also free delivery for their older customers. If they feel like they shouldn't be in the store where there's a crowd, we want to be able to make sure they have what they need. Like many other places, schools have closed, which is causing issues for local food distribution organizations that relied on them being open. Uh, different organizations from the schools would collect for us and so they would bring us maybe canned goods or personal hygiene items that people could use. So our shelves are almost empty and so is our freezers. A recent financial gift will help refill those shelves, but concern remains the longer this goes on. But all four are still optimistic for the future of this smaller community. Small town is pretty good at lifting each other up and I think that they probably have a good sense of what the needs of the community are. As a Nebraskan, uh, we are resilient and, um, and we will get through this as long as everybody just follows the guidelines and, and really takes it, takes it seriously. If you live in Butler County and are in need of food, visit our website 3newsnow.com for more information to contact those who can help.